All right, so leak code time for today. Intervalist intersections. Um, in this video, we are going to tell you how to solve this problem and how to, and how to solve this problem properly in the interview. Then let's get started. So the first thing is to understand the problem and try to clarify if there is anything you don't understand to the interviewer and uh, think about the edge cases. So let's see, so given two lists of closed intervals, you know what interval is? So the A interval is represented by two numbers, the begin number and the, the end number. And a closed interval, the both the numbers at the, for both numbers, the begin number and the end number. And so each list of the interval is pairwise disjoint and in sorted order. Okay, so the two in the interval list, each interval list is in sorted order. And then we are going to return the intersection of these two interval lists. Okay, so let's see what the intersection is My, uh, in mass. So intersection one, three, and the two, four, um, the intersection is two and three. Okay, so the nodes, so both A and B has a lens between zero and smaller, sorry, it is larger or equal to zero, but smaller than 1000. And the number uh, for begin and end number in each interval is uh, smaller than 10 to the power of nine and uh, larger or equal to zero, okay? So actually, uh, there is some edge case. Uh, for example, uh, let's say if a is empty or B is empty, that could be an edge case because we essentially return nothing if one of them is empty. Um, so uh, I think that's pretty much it about how to, how to ask questions to clarify and what the edge cases are. Let's step into the next thing, which is find approach. So the approach would be, we keep two pointers say PA and the PB. Let me copy paste the input examples here. So at the very beginning, uh, PA is equal to zero, which means we are taking a look at the first interval in A, and for PB, it's the same. We see if there is an overlap between the first interval of A and the first interval of B, there is, then we insert a intersection interval into the output, which is one, two. And now we will decide whether we are going to move PA to the next by one or PB to the next by one. So um, we see that the end number of the first interval is two, and for the first interval B, the end number is five. So there's actually no room to find intersection uh, for zero two, zero 02 now. Um, so what we are going to do is we are going to move uh, PA to the next by one. So PA is equal to one. And we do the comparison to see whether there is interval intersection between 5, 10, and 1, 5. So there is, we output 5, 5 into the output. So now, same thing. We are going to decide whether to move PA or PB. So based on what I said, uh, we are going to move PB now because the n number is 10 for 5, 10, and the n number for 1, 5 is 5. So there's no room to find a intersection in PA currently um, that has that has a intersection with 1, 5. So that's why we move PB to the next by one. So so on and so forth, we generate all the um, all the intersections and uh, insert them into the output. So because we are going to um, traverse each array, uh, each input array just once, so the runtime is going to be O uh, M plus N. So M is the length of A and N is the length of B. And space-wise, it's the same. So I think we are good to go to the next step. 
The next step is to find uh, to do some coding to turn your idea into solid code. So let's start to do some coding work. So first of all, we need to decide we need to initialize uh, the output intersections. Let's say the list list is list intersections intersections is new uh, linked list. And we need to define the two pointers PA and also the PB. Then it's a well in the while loop we see uh, if PA is out of index or PBA is out of index. So we need to make sure that PA is smaller than A dot lens and PB is smaller than B dot lens. So we try to see if there is any in interval overlap here. So let's say the begin number would be mass dot max a p a zero and the b p b zero. So if there is an overlap, then the begin number would be the maximum of the begin number from interval uh, from interval a and interval b. And uh, if there is a overlap for the ending number, it will be the smaller one between the ending number of A and ending number of B. So let's say A, P, A, 1, B, P, B, 1. So if the begin number is smaller or equal to end, it means there is a interval overlap. So we are going to intersections dot add new int uh, begin and end and after we find the intervals we decide uh, which one to move forward whether it is PA or PB so like we have said we are going to move PA if the ending number of A is a smaller one so if A P A one is smaller than B P B one then we plus plus P A otherwise we plus plus P B and finally we will need to translate the list into the 2D array so intersections return intersections dot two array int intersections dot size so after we cook complete we need to do some sanity check first and then set up some other task cases to increase the task coverage so let's take a look at so let me eat let's use a simpler example let's say we have zero three uh, and uh, five ten and uh, we also have the so this is a and for b we are going to use this one so at the very beginning pa is equal to zero and pb is equal to zero and uh, the uh, intersections output is a empty thing so we compare 0, 2, and 1, 5, there is an overlap, then uh, based on the comparison condition, uh, we need to insert 1, 2 into it and move uh, A to the right by 1. And uh, now we see that uh, we have a intersection, new intersection, which is 5, 5. Uh, based on comparison here and uh, we will move PB to the right by one okay 
and now we do the we do the comparison we see that there is an overlap still and uh, we output 8 10 and uh, we move pa to the right by one which is out of range so that's uh, when we stop the while loop and then we return the intersection which contains the intersections array finally I think it should look good let's give it a shot if I run the code okay compile arrow um, it is okay there is a typo here let's fix it okay so another okay so another typo on line uh, 35 is intersections Uh, again, another thing. It's in. Okay, so it's intersections. Not not intrusion. <laughs> okay, so now it passed this input example. Let's submit this piece of code. Okay, accept it. You're good. Um, regarding the task coverage, I would suggest us to set up task cases like first of all the ash case like empty one of them is empty and the other thing is uh, to include uh, what I would say one task case is one one of the input in interval list is empty the other thing is try to introduce some intervals that may have overlap or not have o having overlap uh, so like it like what what I was saying is suppose so the first example like this one is good but it's not very good to test if there is something non overlapping so in this case let's say 13 and let's introduce another one which is 13 and 23 so that one would be good because it essentially covers uh, the non-overlapping thing between 8, 12, and uh, uh, 13, 23. We are going to do that judgment. So that's it for this uh, specific question. Um, please subscribe to this channel if you like it. And uh, thanks for your time watching this video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, you guys have a good day.